What's up, everybody? Robert Van Valkenburg here at Kogan Dojo with Naki Saeed. Uh, we're going to be doing some neon belly techniques tonight for the Taikyo Kabuto group. Um, Naki really has focused a lot on the neon belly system, uh, specifically Helsing Gracie's neon belly system, and just very talented with it, devastating. Anybody who's ever rolled with Naki knows that it doesn't feel good. Um, but the reason that I asked him to come out to work with the Taikyo Kabuto group is because for us, what we're looking at is not necessarily grappling for submissions, but grappling more for uh, survival. So like the idea being that when we're on the ground, we're not trying to get to necessarily a dominant position where we're holding somebody down, but a dominant position where we're mobile and upright so that we can kind of see around the room and be able to get up and get away if we, if we need to. Um, so uh, one of our teachers, uh, sort of a consultant of the group, Ellis Amdor, he says that for survival-based uh, martial arts, every good position <coughs> should be reversible, right? Meaning, like, if I, if I have uh, somebody in, like, a full mount position for, uh, in jiu-jitsu and they hold me down, then I actually can't get back up again unless I start doing some serious damage to them and, and kind of get off. But with Neon Belly, you can get up, get down pretty easily, uh, and you have a lot of options, a lot of room to move. Um, so I wanted to talk to Naki a little bit about why he decided to focus on Neon Belly and, and what he's going to show and, and uh, something along those lines. But anyway, thank you for coming out. You're know, welcome. Thank you for having me, guys. Long-winded intro. But I always, I always love having Naki out. Um, so how did you get into Neon Belly in the first place? So one of the first seminars that I ever went to uh, of Helsing's, he, he went through the whole Neon Belly uh, series from side control to uh, Keisuke Katami. From Keisuke Katami, he showed us how he would pop in to Neon Belly. What was amazing was even at that time, he was probably like in his late 50s or maybe in early 60s, and he was still just based off the technique, putting his hands in certain places and activating his toes and, and using these indicators based off of like what the, his opponent was doing. Uh, you know, kind of agitate them enough to use their own energy to help you pop into Neon Belly. And once I did that, and I actually, uh, I felt how effective and efficient it could be once you know all the parameters of the move, uh, getting into the position was natural. Uh, maintaining the position, it was kind of natural for me as well because playing football and basketball for most of my life, you're always, you have this base, you're always boxing people out, and that translates pretty uh, naturally, seamlessly over to jiu-jitsu as well, because everyone says, hey, get into base, stand in base. Even Tony asked that question today, what, is, what does it mean to be in base, right? And it's, it really means like you're, you're, act, you're ready, you're anticipating some kind of, of movement either towards you or, or on or you know, not towards you or pulling you or pushing you or whatever it is. And so uh, since that seminar, I realized more and more that I was able to manipulate my weight and still stay balanced. Manipulate my weight, meaning transferring all my weight and pressure onto my opponent. Right. Making them as uncomfortable as possible uh, while opening up opportunities for me to either uh, continue to apply pressure or open up opportunities to submit them or to get on mount or come back side control or whatever it is so I I just was like okay this is a great position and then I just kept on doing it more and more and more and more until it got to the point where it's very natural to me and to the point where I can just you know I, I can anticipate what people are going to do counter that move and then still maintain the position and, and make their life like a living hell in that, <laughs> in, you know, from that point. So now it's not just knee on belly, it's now it's transitioning from you know, the side that you're originally on, going to the other side, rotating from the top, pulling them, taking their back, choking them, arm barring them, whatever you want, or just maintaining, like you said, you're not, you're not doing the, the grappling for submission, but you know, grappling for Whatever scenario, maybe this person's done something. You're waiting for law enforcement to come by, or maybe, you know, your students need to learn. You know, if this guy is bullying other people and starting a fight, you maybe don't want to break their arm, but you want to hold them down and and let the authorities, like the principal or the teacher, come in and 
and, and assess the situation. So there's, it's just a, it's, it's a good technique and has so many applications and it just depends what you want out of it. Yeah. So usually what I want out of it is, like I said, uh, I want to either inflict pain or I want to get the submission or I want to break someone's will so I can get the submission. So. Yeah, and yeah, and I was always taught that it's a transitional position and so it was something almost that you move through and it wasn't until training with you that I started to see that really it, it could be its own position by itself that a lot of people just use knee and belly to get to mount but uh, you use it as the thing you're trying to get into all the time, yeah. trying to move through all the time. Yeah, you know, and, and the thing is, I, I realized because it's something that's so natural to me over the past several years, I try to avoid using it because it's so comfortable for right. me and it's, 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 it's like my black belt move. You know, everyone has a black belt move, even if you're a white belt. You're you know, if, if, yeah, if Helsin, even Helsin says it, right? Like, you know, you do something as a white belt. You do something thousands of times. You're gonna, that's going to be a black belt move, even though if you're a white belt, blue belt, whatever it is. So that was my black belt move. And that, that's a position I developed early. But over time, I, I realized that it was too comfortable for me. So I had to use that as a, as either, either you know, correct someone's understanding of, like, my rolling. And, you know, if I... If they think that they can get it and I need to just show them something, I can I can go there. But usually I try to avoid it if I if I can because yeah. it is a cheat move for me. It's like my cheat code. Yeah, it because makes sense because actually one of the reasons I'm really into it right now is because side control was always my thing mm -hmm. because I could just crush people and hold people down in side control. Neon Belly requires me to be mobile in mm -hmm. a way that side control just doesn't. You know, right. so it's it it's sort of my next level up so to speak yeah i mean you do develop a, a sense of balance and reaction and you know you have to anticipate what the person's doing and that, that those are the things that i developed over time is because it even though it was natural you would see people buck and you would see yeah. people try their hardest to escape and over time you understand what grips to use how to hold their progress how to hold the inside of their knee where to hold, you know, put your elbow to, to, you know, have the greatest amount of pressure and where to apply your knee. Right. And even where, how high your hips would be, where should your forefoot be, you know, latitude wise, uh, you know, uh, being close to the body, far away from the body, you know, near the head, near the uh, waist. There's all, there's reasons for everything. And especially, it all depends on where the person's moving and how they're moving, right. that yeah. you have to adjust. So there's a lot to be learned from it, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. I so. mean, and you know, I've learned through doing it. All my partners, like Mike and everyone else, and it's you know, they they fight hard, and I just have to react and learn. And sometimes you, the neon belly, you have to go to side control to hold them down again because right. sometimes they do get away. Yeah, you know, depending on who you're going with. So. Cool. Well, very excited as always to train with you, learn some stuff. Yeah. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for having me. Man. Yep.